Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this is the third time making this video, so hopefully I'll get it right this time. Um, but anyways, uh, previous time I had my sound muted, and the first time it was just bad. Uh, but anyways guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick um, how to set up everything in here. You should, when you open it up, it'll look something like this, or hopefully almost exactly like this, with, that, with the exception of that. Um, so what you're going to want to go ahead and do is you're going to go ahead and expand this outward because I hate not having this thing on the side. It helps so much. And you're going to go ahead and go to Mods because you're going to want to create your mod folder first. So you're going to right click on Mods, click New Folder, and then rename it to My Mod underscore My. Uh, I mean, sorry, just My Mod. Just you get what I mean. Um, but anyways, you're going to go ahead and get these folders. I mean, these files from the generic mod. So you're going to just go ahead and copy this one over. You're going to drag it here and you can click copy here and then you can go ahead and do the same thing with these with these two except instead of clicking copy here you're gonna click, click create child here because that way whenever the uh, the devs update these files these files will remain the same they'll, they'll, they'll change as the devs change them because if you don't do that and they co and they change it you just copied it it'll be completely incompatible that's my understanding I don't know if that'll actually happen but that's what I've been told in the past Alright, and once you've done that, you're pretty much um, getting close to being set up. <clears throat> because what you're going to want to do is you're going to click Generic Mod. Um, ooh. Don't know what happened there. You're going to rename everything. You're going to do Generic Mod underscore My Mod. Do the same thing here. Generic score. I mean, once it goes Generic Mod underscore My Mod. Same thing here. Name it Generic Mode underscore My Mod. That way, it'll um, everything will be named. <clears throat> the same way it's supposed to be named, but it'll have your mod on the end, so you can able to you can distinguish it from the base folders, which is gonna be important in about 20 seconds. But anyways, guys, uh, go ahead and pause the video now while you're doing that. Um, that way, when you resume, you'll be right on the next part. All right. So the next part is gonna be when you go to Window, then you, uh, which is should be up here at the top. Then you go to World Settings, which is gonna open this fancy little thing right here. Anyways, you're gonna go to the bottom of all these little picture things. Um, and you're going to go to Primal, uh, Primal Game Data Override, and you're going to put your generic underscore my mod. So you make sure you select yours out of the few. There should be a bunch up here, or just at least four or five. I've, I've created a couple of these myself. But just go to the generic mod underscore my mod. That's, how, um, yeah, that's why the previous stage was important to distinguish it from the other ones. And then you're going to do the same thing here, Game Mode uh, Override. And you're going to go to Test Game Mode underscore generic mod underscore my mod. <coughs> What that basically does is it changes this little world right here to be consistent with these mods. Basically, like everything you do in this world here, which you're gonna click, you can click play and just kind of screw around in it. Um, gives you a bunch of guns to shoot. Will be the same as what you're editing in your mod. So if I want to test that uh, theory, actually, before we test that theory, let's go ahead and go ahead and primal game data underscore bp. And you're going to go to, <clears throat> I'm sorry, sorry for that guys, I, I just keep, uh, I'm not feeling great today and I've just had a little bit in my throat, crap in my throat. And you're going to see test game mode, I mean once the default game mode you're going to override it with your my mod. Should be simple, if, I, if what I'm saying is confusing because I know this grammar isn't even close to correct, just let me know. Um, and I'll go ahead, I'll try to clarify that in the comments. But uh, I think I'm getting my point across and uh, I think you guys get what I'm you're picking up what I'm putting down. <laughs> Anyways, if you want to test this just for the hell of it, we can go ahead and just remove all the ingrams just to make sure it's working. I'm going to go ahead and compile that. And then save it. And then we can try it in our little world. So we're now in our little world. And we're going to click I. And then we're going to see, oh, we have no ingrams. Because we deleted all of them. And then we're going to go ahead and exit that. And then we're going to go back to Primal Game Data PP. And then we're going to click the little... Reset, reset, re, uh, reset to default, which is really handy if you really screw something up. You can just reset it to default, and now you have all your ingrams again. You can recompile that and resave it. Always compile and save whenever you edit a file. Click play again. Click I, or V goes straight ingrams, and you can see all your ingrams again. So you can see real quick. Um, that's one little step. There's going to be one of the things we're going to be changing later on, but uh, it's just one of the easy things to go ahead and screw with. But anyways, guys, uh, that pretty much sums up this little thing. I guess I'll show you a quick trick with this. If you hold right-click, you can look around, and you can use WASD to move, and if you hold left-click, you do weird stuff. It's... I don't like it. Don't don't click left-click. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe for more. Uh, and be sure to like if you think I did a good job. But if you have any questions, or I didn't clarify anything, or it just doesn't work at all, and I 
completely skip something somehow, it's entirely possible. Uh, just let me know, because, I mean, I think I covered everything. I mean, I'm fairly sure I did, but if I didn't, please let me know, and I'll try to fix that. Once again, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.